Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on writing equations in standard form. Our objective today is that we will write equations of lines in standard form. The question I'd like you thinking about as we go through the lesson is how can you use what you know about algebraic properties to write the equation of a line in standard form? Standard form is the equation of a line in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integer values, and a is positive. So when we look at this standard form, notice it's an uppercase a, b, and c. This b is uppercase and not the same as the lowercase b that we use to uh, identify slope y-intercept. So the other thing to note here is integer. Integer, by definition, are whole numbers and their opposites. So counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 or negative 1, 2, 3, all the negative values. A is what we call our leading value, and it's always positive. So to be in standard form, A, B, and C cannot be decimals or fractions, and A must be positive. So let's look at some examples that are standard form and some that are not to fully understand standard form. So here's an example of a linear equation written in standard form. 2x plus 3y equals 7. 2, 3, and 7 represent the a, b, and c, and they are all integer values, and a is positive. Not in standard form. 3.2 4.2 and 7.3 are not integers. They are rational numbers. Therefore, this is not written in standard form. Negative 4x plus 2y equals 9. A is negative and therefore not in standard form. 1 third x plus 3y equals 7 is not in standard form because the A is not an integer. It's a rational value. How is standard form useful? Standard form is useful to identify the x and y intercepts of a line. The equation of any line in any form can easily be rewritten into standard form. So let's go ahead and practice. In previous video lessons, we've talked about slope-intercept form. We are going to take this linear equation that is written in slope-intercept form and we are going to transform it and rewrite it so that it is in standard form. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear the fraction because I know I need integer values and I cannot have fractions. So I'm going to multiply. There's our standard form. That's what we're looking to go to. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 5 to clear the denominator. 5 times y is 5y, 5 times negative 2 fifths x is negative 2, and 5 times 7 is 35. Now I'm going to add 2x to each side of the equation, leaving me 2x plus 5y, this is a zero pair, equals 35, and now I have a linear equation in standard form. This equation is equivalent to the given equation. So this is the same line, just in slope-intercept form and standard form. Now, in a previous video lesson, we also learned about point-slope form, and we're being asked to take this equation and write it in standard form. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the negative one-half. So we're going for standard form, negative one-half times x, Negative 1 half times negative 1 is positive 1 half. Now I'm going to clear the denominator by multiplying every term by 2. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. 2 times negative 1 half x is negative x. And 2 times 1 half is 1. Now let's add x to each side of the equation. And I have x plus 2y subtract 4 equals 1 because this is a zero pair. Let's move our equation up here and our last step will be to add 4 to each side. 
So now I'm left with x plus 2y equals 5, and now I have my equation in standard form. This is the same line as the one written in point-slope form. So these are what we call equivalent equations, and they represent the same line, just written in different forms. So we learned in previous video lessons to write the equation of a line that passes through two points. We've done this in slope-intercept form and point-slope form. Now we're being asked to write it in standard form. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the slope of the line. So negative 7 subtract 1 is the change in y, 0 subtract 2, negative 7 subtract 1 is negative 8, 0 subtract 2 is negative 2, and that simplifies to 4. Then I identify that I have one of my points is the y-intercept because the x-coordinate is 0. So I'm going to use slope-intercept form to start to write the equation of this line, and then I will transform this into standard form. So my slope is 4 and my y-intercept is negative 7. Now I'm going to subtract 4x from each side. Negative 4x plus y equals negative 7, but this is not in standard form yet because negative 4a cannot be negative. So I'm going to multiply every term by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 4x is positive 4x, subtract y, and equals positive 7. So now this is in standard form, and equivalent to this in slope-intercept form. Now we're going to use standard form, or function notation, to go to standard form. So remember that these represent two points, the ordered pair negative 2, 1, and the ordered pair 1, 7. So I'm going to find the slope. 1 subtract 7 is the change in y. Negative 2 subtract 1 is the change in x. 1 subtract 7 is negative 6, and negative 2 subtract 1 is negative 3. This simplifies to 2. Neither of these points are the y-intercept, so I'm going to use point-slope formula to start off my linear equation. I am going to replace my y-coordinate with 1 and my x-coordinate with negative 2. Remember, this is x subtract negative 2, so it becomes n, and here's my slope of 2. So now let's distribute our 2 to 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 2x, oh, well here I did this one backwards, I'm going to add 1 to each side, the order doesn't matter, and y equals 2x plus 5. So now it's in slope-intercept form. Let's come up here, and we're going to subtract 2x from each side, negative 2x plus y equals 5, and now I'm going to multiply every term by negative 1 so that my leading value here is positive. 2x subtract y is equal to negative 5. So now the equation of this line, I have it in point-slope form, slope-intercept form, and standard form. Now it's your turn. I would like you to write the equation in standard form. Pause now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear the denominator, multiplying every term by 5. That gives me 5y equals negative 3x subtract 10. Now I'm going to add 3x to each side, and I get 3x plus 5y equals negative 10, and that is standard form. Your turn. I'd like you to write the equation of this line in standard form. Pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the negative 3 negative 3x, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Now we're going to add 3x to both sides, giving us 3x plus y subtract 1 equals negative 6. And then last step, add 1 to each side, giving us 3x plus y equals negative 5. And this is in standard form. Now I'm going to have you write the equation of the line that passes through these two points, and please do so in standard form. Pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we have two points. The first thing we want to do is find our slope. 
negative 5, subtract 3. Remember, order doesn't matter. You could have done 3, subtract negative 5. 2, subtract 0. So I have negative 8 over 2, which simplifies to negative 4. Here we have our y-intercept, so I'm going to use slope-intercept form. You could have used point-slope. Maybe you did. So y is equal to my slope of negative 4 and my y-intercept of positive 3. To put this in standard form, I'm going to add 4x to each side, giving me 4x plus y is equal to 3. Your turn again. Here are two points written in function notation, and I'd like you to write the equation of the line that passes through these points in standard form. Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we have the ordered pairs negative 1, 2, and 3, 3. We're going to find the slope. 2, subtract 3. Negative 1, subtract 3. So we have negative 1 over negative 4, which simplifies to 1 fourth. Neither of these values, these ordered pairs, are the y-intercept, so let's use point-slope form first. And then y subtract a y-value of 2. 1 fourth is my slope, and x add 1 because it was negative. Distribute the 1 fourth to the x and the 1. And then we'll bring it up here. I'm going to clear the denominator by multiplying every term by 4. So we have 4y, subtract 8. And then clearing the denominator here, I get 4 times 1 fourth is x, and 4 times 1 fourth is 1. Let's subtract x from each side. Then I have negative x plus 4y, subtract 8, equals 1. And we need to add the 8 to each side. Negative x plus 4y equals 9. One more step because we do not want our first term, a, to be negative. So I'm going to multiply every term by negative 1, giving me x subtract 4y equals negative 9. And there you have it. That's how you rewrite linear equations in standard form. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.